All right, y'all, so I finally have an idea for my next project here. So a while back, we had this tree cut down and I regret not telling them to keep the rest of the trunk for me. However, we still have a solid size stump here. Here's my foot for comparison size. It's a pretty dang big stump. So I wanna dig it up and turn this thing into a coffee table. I've already started digging around a little bit, so uh, we're going to finish digging this sucker up. Alright, so I've been digging maybe 30, 40 minutes, more or less, and uh, this is where we're at. I exposed uh, a lot of the roots. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get one of my saws, and uh, we're going to start cutting at the roots. All right, I went ahead and pulled out my rigid Sawzall and we are using these brand new Diablo blades here. Pretty aggressive. These are the ones with the carbide teeth. They're supposed to last 50 times longer. So I guess this will be a true test of time. And I uh, already got it mounted here. I kind of tried it out there for a few seconds. So let's break her in, baby. All right, so the other day we were uh, started cutting out that big root with the chainsaw. But for whatever reason, we were having some problems with it. I was giving it gas and it was bogging down. So I decided to put it away, call it a night. And today we pull this thing out. I swear I did not do anything to it. And now it's working like a charm. I guess this thing just wants to work when it wants to. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and show you guys. Uh, it's working like a charm right now. I was gonna do some uh, carb adjustments mess around with the carb and get it working but since it's already working i guess there's nothing i have to do all right we're over here at the stump site this is the hole i dug took out quite a bit it also rained that night i think what we're gonna do i've already cut it here at the top we're gonna go ahead and just do a clean slice right here at the joint you can see it goes straight into the ground and it has like a like a knee joint right there kind of looks like a leg so we're just gonna cut off the thigh we're gonna have ourselves some pine thigh <laughs> We got it. That is a heavy root. Now I think we're gonna have to do some sharpening on that thing, but it still got the job done. It started raining earlier today, so uh, I kind of went back inside for a little bit. This is what the stump is looking like. I'm sure there's some more uh, super deep roots under it and on the other side of this. I got this strap. We're just gonna wrap it around and see if we can yank it out. I decided to use this heavy duty strap um, just in case anything snaps. It's a lot safer if the strap breaks instead of the come along or a chain. But even this, I don't think is going to be strong enough. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple tugs. I'm not going to do anything crazy. See uh, if the stump even budges. I don't think it is, but we're going to find out. Alright, so I went ahead and gave it a couple tugs, as you can see in the video. It felt like the strap was gonna was starting to give way. Uh, I don't know if that was the strap just tightening up or if it was actually tearing. I can't really tell, but I don't want to risk it because this is the only strap I, the, the only thick strap I have. 
we're gonna go ahead and wait another day to pull it uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig it up a little bit more i guess all right ladies and gents we're gonna try this one more time i don't know why i did not think about this before the first time as you guys just seen we did a single strand across but if you take a rope and you fold it in half you essentially double the strength theoretically right uh of course you know there's variations depending on the uh, tensile strength of the material so it's not exact but we're gonna do it We are back another beautiful morning it's about six o'clock in the morning the sun's getting ready to rise and i'm gonna finish this project here because it's nice and fresh the uh, past few days i have been digging this thing out some more we cut up some more roots As you can see i cut these roots here on the side and i also uncovered this massive root here in the back this is the biggest one and it just happens to be going under the fence i was hoping that was not going to be the case and my luck it is uh, I went ahead and cut this root out and there's another one way down here. I had to dig out quite a bit uh, You can see that root down there. I had a, I already cut through it All I have to do now is finish cutting this root I had to sharpen the chainsaw because it wasn't cutting very well So I got this chainsaw sharpened. I have it pulled out here I'm gonna see if I could pull this back a little bit and uh, finish cutting that root back there Right, so the idea of what I'm doing here is I'm gonna use this to pull this back a little bit, create some tension here, so that hopefully, you know, it'll hold this open a little bit more so that it's not pinching the chain as I'm uh, sticking the chainsaw in there. So I'm gonna start this thing up and finish cutting our way through this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, old technique that I learned where you can provide some upward force using a tire and a strap. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give this a shot, see if we can uh, get this stump to move. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. About four or five days worth of work and uh, roughly something like that. We got this dump out. Look at all that. Oh yeah. Feels real nice to finally have that dump thing out. You guys have no idea. So this is what it was stuck on. I didn't see this piece of root. I started digging on this side. It would take me forever to find that. But uh, mission accomplished. Thank you guys for watching that video. 
Before we go, I have a very important announcement I'd love to share with you guys. I finally got around to creating my very own website where I will be selling my woodcrafts as well as my very first line of t-shirts. This one is the first of many. This is the pinstripe car lady. Very comfortable t-shirt, I love it. So, if you guys would like to check that out, check it out at mycraftsmanship.com. However, we're not quite up and running yet. So, if you go to the website, you can sign up with your email and you'll be notified via email as soon as we're open. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.